Longest Game, a game played on March 24, 1936, between the Detroit Red Wings and the Montreal Maroons holds the record for one of the longest games in NHL history. After regular time and five overtime periods, the game finally concluded during the sixth overtime period, lasting a total of 116 minutes and 30 seconds. Mario Lemieux is a name that is synonymous with greatness in the world of sports. The Canadian ice hockey legend is considered one of the greatest players to ever grace the ice, and his impact on the game of hockey is undeniable. But beyond his accomplishments on the ice, Lemieux's cultural influence extends far beyond the realm of sports and into the world of entertainment. Lemieux's rise to stardom began in the 1980s, when he burst onto the scene as a talented young player for the Pittsburgh Penguins. His remarkable skill and natural talent quickly caught the attention of hockey fans around the world, and he soon became a household name in the sports world. But it wasn't just his skill on the ice that made Lemieux stand out. His personal story, which included overcoming numerous health challenges, endeared him to fans and made him a symbol of resilience and determination. His battles with cancer and other health issues only served to make his accomplishments on the ice even more remarkable and inspired countless individuals around the world. As his career progressed, Lemieux's influence began to extend beyond the world of sports and into the world of entertainment. He became a cultural icon, appearing in commercials, TV shows, and even movies. His charismatic personality and natural charm made him a natural fit for the world of entertainment, and he quickly became a beloved figure in popular culture. One of the most notable examples of Lemieux's foray into entertainment was his appearance in the classic hockey movie Sudden Death. In the film, Lemieux plays himself, battling terrorists at a hockey arena in an action-packed thriller. His performance in the film was widely praised, and it solidified his status as a true crossover star. In addition to his acting career, Lemieux also dabbled in music, releasing a charity single in 1992 to raise funds for cancer research. The single, titled Rock and Roll, Part 2, was a hit with fans and further cemented Lemieux's place in the entertainment world. But perhaps Lemieux's most enduring cultural influence comes from his philanthropic efforts. Throughout his career, Lemieux has been a strong advocate for charitable causes, particularly those related to cancer research and treatment. The Mario Lemieux Foundation, which he founded in 1993, has raised millions of dollars for cancer research and has helped countless individuals battling the disease. Lemieux's charitable work has not only had a tangible impact on the lives of those in need, but it has also inspired others to give back and make a difference in their communities. His commitment to giving back and making the world a better place has made him a role model for countless individuals, both in the sports world and beyond. Mario Lemieux's cultural influence extends far beyond the world of sports and into the realm of entertainment and philanthropy. His remarkable career on the ice, combined with his forays into acting, music, and charitable work, have made him a true renaissance man and a beloved figure in popular culture. His impact on the world will continue to be felt for years to come as he remains a symbol of greatness, resilience, and generosity. Generosity.